front row. Just go right. sneak in Get across like the border. Get him like an artist visa. There's go a way to do it. Go down there to Mexico and sneak across the border. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather live in America than Canada? Of Citizen course show. he Can I would. Tell you a story? Canada <laughs> sucks ass. You have to. Roseanne. They're taking people's money out of their accounts and making them take 19 jabs and eyeballs of the goddamn vaccine. <laughs> you liberals. <laughs> Roseanne is here, everybody. It's not. It, I'll tell you what, it's nothing but a bunch of commie devil worshippers up there in Canada. That's what you got up there. Goddamn I, I Castro's love, son, yeah. what's his face, is Castro's illegitimate clone of a goddamn yeah. son. I like. Oh but you know what? Every day, more and more Americans are waking up to reality and knowing I'm telling the goddamn truth. I'm not a lying, goddamn prostitute and whore. I tell the truth. Everything's a bullshit lie, and I'll tell you what I knew. It told me to quit smoking because I was going to get sick from the COVID, so I quit smoking. Two weeks later, I had COVID. Yep. And then I read in the papers it says cigarette smoking protects you from the COVID. It's true. That's the thing. Did you see that? It's all a bullshit lie to get me to quit smoking. Yep. God damn. Mother right. Roseanne Barr. All right, all right, all right. Roseanne Barr is yet another Hollywood star to tell the woke world to shove it. We're going to see the latest celebrity to join this ongoing revolt. And make sure to stick with me at the very end of this video when you'll see her get the most red-pilled of all. Very few Hollywood icons have had such a stunning turnaround as Roseanne Barr. Once a liberal Green Party candidate for president and a hero of the far left, the comedian slowly but surely began to embrace the patriotic values of faith, family, and freedom during the Trump years. And she did so very boldly. Here she is on Jimmy Kimmel dropping some truth bombs on the Trump presidency. Dan's character is not... Did you, did you agree with her foreign policy? Listen... That never mind her foreign policy. How about Captain Wacko we got running the country here? I mean, the foreign policy. <laughs> I'm shocked, because I know you're a, you were a very liberal, socially liberal person in general. I mean... I'm still the same. You all moved. <laughs> we did? You all went so f far out, you lost everybody. <laughs> I mean, seriously. You're probably right, by the way. A lot of your audience, and including me, I just want to say this, Jimmy. A lot of us, you know, no matter who we voted for, we don't want to see our president fail. Right. You know? Right. I know. Because we don't want Pence. And yet we've seen you, it hey? over again. Are you, you want Pence? You want Pence for oh, the no. freaking president? No, I don't want well, him either. Well, then zip that <laughs> Now, what you just said there, I think, was key for a lot of people. And no, I'm not talking about what she said about Mike Pence, although I'm sure many of us would share her opinion on him right now. And no, I'm not talking about Jimmy Kimmel zipping his effing lip. I'm sure we all agree on that. It's this notion that she didn't change, the Democrat Party changed. Or what's better, the Overton window moved. The woke left began to take over. And because they don't allow for any semblance of dissent, Roseanne quickly got excommunicated. And the Trump coalition is made up of many disaffected Democrats, particularly white working class Democrats, the very family that the Roseanne show portrayed, who rightly recognize there is no longer any home for them in the newly woke Democrat Party. And so ever since coming out as a Trump supporter, Roseanne has been one of the woke culture's most ardent and vocal critics. Here's what Roseanne said about why Hollywood pushes woke agendas. It's subtle, but very powerful. And my son, you know, went on, he made a video and he said, if only my mom had molested little children, they would have took her back on, mm -hmm. on, uh, you know, like they took back James Gunn, who had a thousand tweets about molesting children. They took him back at Disney. And, uh, and, oh, well, uh, Roseanne, said, let's not let's not forget about Jeffrey Epstein, who they all said, they all went to his big think, dinner. 
after he'd already mm-hmm. copped his plea for taking advantage of minors mm-hmm. uh, as alleged prostitutes, which is not a thing. You cannot be a minor and a prostitute. You were the victim of a sex trafficking right. operation or you're, a bad man. You're a slut. And they all lined slut. up. The, the news people mm-hmm. and the celebrities lined up, not to mention the royalty, Prince Andrew, to get mm-hmm. back into his house for his dinner party. I know. Yeah, sorry. That's both Megyn Kelly as well as Roseanne Bohr. Woke agendas and crimes of racism are ultimately attempts at hiding pedophilia. I mean, that's based, man. Seriously, that's awesome. Here's Roseanne's theory on left-wing bias and artificial intelligence and chat GPT. Well, in my theory Mm -hmm. that they're trying to kill us all. Yes. (laughs) Okay, which I swear to God, I don't know why I'm the only person that sees it. No, I think I... I... It's totally true because this kind of program where they don't know what a woman is, and I always say, a woman is me. That's Mm -hmm. what it is. It's me. Yeah. Yeah, somebody with, you know, that's given birth to five ungrateful little... (laughs) You know. a job in their life because of what I had to go through. That's what a woman is. And also, a woman is somebody who cleans up everybody else's That's shit. true. But, but, Greg, what was I talking about? What was I going to say? You were t- you- I was just thinking Actually, about what it would be like to be nothing. your daughter-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> I have a son. But you anyway. Know, yeah, they're trying to kill us. Oh, yeah, they're trying to. So this <laughs> leftist programming you know what it is people i'm so glad i'm getting a chance to say it's lemming programmers they're trying to try to trick us into dying easily jumping off cliffs after each other you know the news is the noose that's what it is they want us to die i see the title of your next fox nation special (laughs) they're trying to kill us (laughs) Gang, before you do anything else, you've got to click on that link below and visit our good friends over at Home Title Lock. I have to admit, I was absolutely shocked when I was recently shown just how easy it is to access the deed to my house and not just access it, but actually change it. The deed to your home is the only document that proves you own it. But the problem is that all our deeds are now online and criminals are free to find your deed, forge your signature, refile as the new owner of your home, take out tons of loans using your home's equity, and then stick you with all the debt. But that's where our good friends over at Home Title Lock come in. Gang, they're absolutely amazing. Home Title Lock gives you the peace of mind that the deed to your home is absolutely and completely protected. Click on that link below right now and use promo code TURLYTALKS. And all you have to do is enter your address for your no-obligation home title scan to see if you've already been a victim of deed theft. That's a $100 value, absolutely, totally free with my promo code TURLYTALKS. Gang, don't wait for the worst to happen, only to regret you didn't do something about it when you could have. Click on that link below right now and secure your home today. So once again, you're seeing someone who has no problem, as it were, going there, right? And this is ultimately about getting rid of us, this AI left-wing bias stuff. But I got to say, the most amazing thing I heard from Roseanne Barr came recently when she came out as thoroughly pro-life. Here's Roseanne's moving story about reuniting with her daughter that she gave up for adoption years ago, just after she was born. I turned to turn left into the cafeteria and she saw me and we were just on each other like we just knew each other for all those years. And so the bodyguards grabbed us because we couldn't let each other go. And they shoved us in the uh, elevator. We went up to the 16th floor and we just, you know, we remembered everything that we had gone through for 17 years apart is how I can say it. She's been in my life since then. And uh, she lived with me for a while. And uh, then she moved on to start her life when she was about 26. She's done real well for herself. She runs a wonderful uh, nonprofit organization called Billion Acts of Peace. She's a wonderful person. And I'm can I, so can I ask you a uh, question glad that a, we reconnected. A lot of, a lot of young huh? girls, eight, 18 years old, would have made a different decision. Um, you know, would have chosen an abortion instead of to carry the baby to term and give it up, which you know is going to be emotionally tough for you. How did you think about that at the time? I knew it was going to be tough because I thought, 
you know, I'm never going to even know if she's alive or if she did get good parents. But I, I would always keep tabs on that Jewish and Family Children Services there in Denver. I always like to you spy ever on people. Consider not not going through with the pregnancy. Um, no, I lived in Utah, and uh, that that wasn't a, a possibility. But even if it had been, that's not for me. I'm not, you know, I uh, that that's not for me. I, I. Uh, I have five kids, and uh, I said, uh, one of my jokes is, hey, I should have stayed a Democrat because pretty soon they're going to make abortion legal up to the time they're 60, and I should have hung in there. Uh-huh. Well, I you see, ha- then you can kill you. your adult kids, too. Ha, ha, <laughs> ha. My kids are like, you know, my four older kids are from uh, 42 to 52, and sometimes I'd, uh, you know, really like to take them to task. And my youngest is 28. But uh, wow. no, I'm glad I had them all. And um, I think we I think we're way past the point where abortion should be anything that anybody thinks of, because we have the technology to prevent pregnancies. And it's just barbaric that we haven't come farther than that. And it really makes me mad when they say women have the right to choose. And then the choice they're talking about is that something so barbaric. And yesterday when, you know, I say, um, you know, why don't they just uh, clip little boys when they're born, you know, give them a vasectomy at birth that can be reversed when they grow up and get a damn job. You know what I mean? They could do something Mm. easy like that, but instead they choose this barbarity. And, um, you know, there's a lot of reasons why they're all horrible, but we should be beyond that kind of a remedy for, we shouldn't even have unwanted pregnancies. Hello, that's ridiculous. We can fake like we send a man to the moon and we can't prevent pregnancy. <laughs> so as you can see, the list of celebrities that are rejecting wokeness in all of its forms is growing and growing exponentially. It looks like we're not far off from having a full-blown parallel Hollywood where music and entertainment can once again celebrate rather than denigrate faith, family, and freedom. And when that time comes, I have no doubt we'll be seeing Roseanne Barr bringing smiles to us all. As always, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. You'll definitely want to check out my latest video on Woke Disney imploding. You're going to absolutely love it. So make sure to click on that link and I'll see you over there. God bless. Hey gang, I know what it's like to feel alone out there in these turbulent times, but I broke free. If you too have been looking for a community with like-minded patriots who are serious about resisting globalism, building a parallel economy, and having intelligent and deep fellowship on a regular basis, then you've come to the right place. In my Courageous Patriot Insiders community, we're building a close-knit movement of, by, and for patriots who are breaking free from the outrage and despair cycles of the mainstream media and taking on the fight against globalism. Every week, I deep dive into the content I can't share on big tech and give you the cliff notes on the truth of how patriots just like you are building up their communities, starting patriot businesses, and fighting the woke in both public and private all with a few history and political lessons from yours truly, of course. If you want to stop feeling alone as a patriot and stand together with this fast-growing community, be sure to click on the link in the description below. Don't wait. Join me and my patriot coalition today, and let's get fighting.